What is up, Wanderers? We are coming to you this time from a galaxy far, far away. You know what we're talking about. We're talking about Star Wars. We've got the Mandalorian bag from Heroes and Villains, and we're going to review this sucker right after this. <music> All right, Wanderers, you know how we do it here on Wander EDC. We are going to do a one-take review of a really unique bag this time. This is a rare sucker. You may not have seen it before, but it is a good-looking bag, and I'm excited to do a walkthrough of this Mandalorian bag from Heroes and Villains. It is, uh, first off, we're going to do, I should say, a one-take review, which means no cuts, no edits, no funny business, just me talking about this bag straight to you, from the heart. We're gonna do two things that we love about this bag at the end, two things that, eh, not so much, and an overall recommendation. Should you buy this bag? I don't know. Let's get started. So, walk through time. Do you like the look? We've got a lot of different materials going on here. We've got faux leather, we've got nylon, we've got kind of a, I don't, do we call this ripstop? Nah, I think we just call this a different kind of nylon. So a rubberized nylon, a regular nylon, a faux leather, and then we've got doodads. Very important doodads that give it kind of that Star Wars look and feel. Do you think it's too Star Wars? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think it's so Star Wars that if you aren't a Star Wars fan that you would know what this symbol is. This is from the TV show, The Mandalorian. Um, there's a lot of details. There's a made-up Star Wars language on the front. There's a made-up Star Wars language on the back. There is a small mud horn right here, and this is actually called the mud horn backpack, um, which is weird because it's got this kind of monster over here, some kind of Mandalorian symbol. I'm not exactly sure. Then you've got all kinds of kind of future sci-fi tactical styling on this bag. So. Let's do the walkthrough. Let's talk about this bag, because I'm eager to get into it and share with you guys and discover what's going on here. I ordered this bag. I have not loaded it out. I have not even removed the tags. We're looking at this thing for the first time together, so let's do this thing. First pocket. It's a pocket. <laughs> There's nothing going on in here. It's a drop pocket. Um, and, and so you can drop your own organizer in there. Um, but the size is good. Second pocket on the top. This is a felt lined sunglasses pocket. It is felt lined. It is actually very big too. So much more than just sunglasses can go in that top pocket. Um, third pocket down here. Okay, now we're talking. So we've got one, two, three, four pin pockets, a back slip pocket, a zippered, kind of wallet sized pocket. And then down here, the entire front panel has a mesh zip pocket. Okay, that's useful. Then we have one, two, three pockets on the front that I guess uh, you could put all kinds of useful stuff in. They all close with a magnetic clasp, but it takes literally like a baby could open that. It takes zero pressure to open that. So um, I think it would stay closed, but the, even the smallest of tugs is gonna open that. So good to know. It also, they all also have these little eyelets down here to drain water. So theoretically you could put like a, a wet Red Bull can in there. Um, they also all have D-rings at the bottom. So you could clip things onto the bottom of that the bag at that point. Okay, interesting. Let's flip over to the side. You have what I can only assume is only a design function here. Um, I'm not clipping anything to that. You have an attachment point for like a reflector light, but in the weirdest of all possible places. So again, I think that's probably just for look and feel. Then on the side, you have a pocket that is, uh, I think pretty useful. That's kind of tiny umbrella sized. So you could slip an umbrella in there. I could slip some uh, film equipment in there, honestly. Okay. 
On the back, you have two nice straps with D-rings, no chest strap or sternum strap or anything like that, and then a vented cushioned back panel, and boom, a very well padded and felt lined laptop compartment that clamshells open. So that might honestly even be a little bit of overkill given that the straps are attached to it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's overkill. You, you didn't need to do that. Just a drop in pocket would have been good. That would have given it more structure. This already feels like it's gonna be a little bit tuggy. Up top, another pocket, another magnetic closure, and then down below, a water bottle pocket. Will it fit the big boy? Yes, it will. All right, well done. When not in use, I can only assume that we can close this away for the most part. You also have a gray triangle, which is what they use in space. All right, now let's open up the main compartment. Kind of a U-shaped compartment up top. It does not open on the sides. What do we have in here? Well, we have a spaceship hanger in here. You can see this is just a giant compartment. Giant compartment. Wow. I mean, I'm just gonna climb into... <laughs> this thing is huge, it's massive. Um, okay, well, I mean, if you're fans of minimalist backpacks and you just want dump pouches for your travel cubes, yeah, that'll do the trick. You can toss anything in there. You can toss a baby Yoda in that thing. So that's the, that's the full walkthrough of all the pockets and pouches and everything. Um, so two things I love about this bag. I mean, come on. The exterior styling is completely badass. I, I, I love the look of this bag. What's the second thing I like about this bag? Well, the number of exterior pockets is on point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then inside this one, the admin pocket. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Extra, extra useful, extra nice. Tons of exterior pockets, tons of useful storage and padding in all the right places. What are a couple of things I don't like about this bag? Two things. One, floppy. It's a floppy bag. I gotta think that the Mandalorians would not be very delighted to learn that their bag is a floppy piece of fabric. Uh, you would think, given that this was inspired by uh, uh, armored warriors, that this would be more substantial. It's not, it's a floppy bag. Um, and thing number two, it has ridiculously floppy, cheap feeling straps, which if you're going to load out this bag with, you know, your dark saber and your baby Yoda and all your other supplies that you need to get across the galaxy, um, you're not going to want uncomfortable straps, and unfortunately, that's what you have ended up with with this bag. You've ended up looking cool and feeling terrible. Um, so, should you buy this bag? Well, if you are a big Star Wars fan, I am, uh, then you might like to have this bag in your collection. I do. Um, are you going to find yourself grabbing this and carrying it? Well, if you're going to like a Comic Con um, or Galaxy's Edge at Disney World, yeah, you're probably going to wear this just so that you can make other nerds totally jealous. Um, but are you going to travel with this bag? No, it's just not good enough. Um, so should you buy it if you're a super fan and you want the collectible? Yes, you should buy it. If you are looking for a bag and think that this might be the perfect bag due to all the exterior pockets and organization, do yourself a favor and get a serious tactical backpack instead. Or if you're traveling and you want a lot of organization options, um, look up Tom Bean, T-O-M-B-I-H-N, um, and, and do yourself a favor. Go that route instead. Don't spend the money on this. Um, it is a little cheap. Uh, that's the honest truth. That's the review. I hope you enjoyed checking out this one-of-a-kind bag. Um, it's really unique, and I'm glad that I have it. So, 
Everybody, thank you. If you liked this video, please like the video. Please subscribe if you're new here. We don't always do Star Wars reviews. We usually do regular bags from this galaxy and this time. Um, but uh, this was a fun one. So everybody, thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Bye, Wanderers.